Hello everyone, it's John here from Electric Life. Today I stopped in at Roy Foss Motors in Vaughan, Ontario. And this was to have a look at the uh, Bright Drop electric vehicles. As you can see, these are delivery vans. They're made right here in Ingersoll, Ontario, which is pretty cool. And initially, I think the use cases is gonna be mostly for deliveries. So I know that FedEx is one of their initial customers. As you can see, it's a walk through van with doors on either side, sliding doors. And as you'll see in a moment here, uh, with a nice comfortable cab and a door that slides and in, goes into the rear compartment where the parcels or parts so that type of thing would be used for the various companies. Now I did ask if they think that it would be something that could be used for RV conversions or airport uh, passenger vans and things like that and they said that's not in the cards right now they're primarily focusing on uh, last mile logistics use cases but I'm sure it'd be something that'd be great uh, as an option down the road for people to use. So this is James Ricci. James is the president of uh, Roy Foss uh, Motors. And we're at a, an event here today with uh, his new vehicle line that they're representing called Bright Drop, which is a EV uh, vehicle line of uh, vans and whatnot made right here in Ontario in Ingersoll. So James, uh, thanks very much for giving us a few minutes. Yeah, happy to be here. And uh, just tell me a little bit, what caused you to decide to be involved and actually represent the Bright Drop uh, brand? Yeah, so Bright Drop is really a, one of the first of its kind, a commercial electric van. It's built here in Canada at the uh, Canby plant in Ingersoll. And, you know, we're looking at our, from a group perspective, the future of sustainable mobility. And we're really excited at the promise of, you know, what companies like Bright Drop and the electric vehicle space can do for the future of, uh, you know, the sustainability of the planet, really. Uh, and Bright Drop in particular has a very specific use case that we're excited about. With the growth of online, you know, retail and e-commerce, there's a need for more and more uh, capabilities for last mile delivery. And that's really the use case that Bright Drop really fulfills. It's an electric delivery van that's completely designed for that last mile to list in the logistics you know, use case. Yeah. And I think you mentioned to me earlier, you've, you've delivered about 100 of these vehicles so far? Yes. Yes. Just under 100. And, um, and the bulk being about half of that has been to FedEx. And there's huge demand from all the big players to, you know, medium-sized uh, players as well. So you're getting good feedback from FedEx on the people that were used to using uh, gasoline vehicles? Yeah, it's really easy and, and pretty seamless. You know, it's the first kind of batch, at least in Canada. We are the exclusive dealer in Canada right now for sales and service. Um, so it's a pretty intuitive, you know, drive. Everything's tailored exactly to the specific of what the needs are for those drivers in the logistics space. So it's been pretty easy. Of course, like, you know, the transition to electric, as you know, and as, you know, people in, that are just driving electric at a retail level, there is some adjustments kind of getting through the mindset around, you know, charging stations and range. But for these particular drivers that live and breathe in the city, you know, or within you know, let's just say 10 to 30 kilometers of the warehouses to delivery, like it, it makes perfect sense, right? Because you're not looking at, you know, long hauls every day. It's easy to kind of charge, uh, you know, at the end of the day, have it fully charged in the morning, do your deliveries and, you know, and, and still have charge for the next few days. And James, I'm told, and I think optimal conditions is about a 300 kilometer range. Yes, is that about right? right? Yeah. It'd be interesting to see, uh, I certainly can uh, say what happens in the winter time, yeah. that the rains would be less. It'd be interesting to see what happens in the winter, but uh, I'm sure there'd be some adjustments there. Um, what sort of uh, order bank do you have? I mean, if someone came in here and they wanted to order five for their small fleet, uh, like how far out would that be, do you yeah. think? So the way that the process works is there's a QPA agreement that needs to be formalized and approved by Bright Drop Corporate. And so what we would do is we would kind of meet with the potential client, we would understand their needs and we would um, understand what their request would be. And we would take that to Bright Drop. They would get an approved um, QPA agreement. What's that, QPA stand for? Uh, it stands for um, Qualified Production Agreement. Okay. Uh, and essentially what they want to make sure is that, you know, the clients understand, you know, the vehicles are, you know, what's involved, understand the you know, general sense of the price point, 
what the delivery timing is like, and there are certain other elements that you know need to be negotiated and, and finalized as part of that. But from there, you know, we get the QPA, we uh, price the vehicles out, um, and it's a uh, it's a pretty simple fixed price model. Um, so there's no haggle, uh, which makes it easy. I think it's two versions, 400 and 600 basically. Exactly. And that's basically the size of the battery? 100% size of the battery, size of the vehicle itself. Um, and we've got both on display. And just give me a rough idea of price point. Yeah, so there isn't price point, uh, hasn't been revealed for the Zevo 400, which is the smaller of the two. That hasn't been officially launched yet. We have a pre-production vehicle here that, you know, clients can take a look at and walk inside. Um, you're looking at 120,000 plus, 115 to 120,000 plus uh, for the Bright Drop uh, Zevo 600. And so there's a lot of, you know, um, things that play into the exact pricing. There's some equipment options and and some other factors that influence the price there's also um you know national canadian uh rebate program yeah i saw that i looked it up incentives as well uh, i think you can get up to forty thousand or something yeah you can and, and that's stackable with provincial where where it applies and you know there are there are different provisions that you know that we're working through to make sure that the client qualifies properly and that's all submitted and, and, and if they do qualify it's taken off at point of sale Yes, exactly. So, so just like an e just is, exactly, it's the same passenger different program, but it's it's similar on the retail side. It's on the bill of sale, um, and then the uh, the client can either submit for it, um, and or we can do it on their behalf. Or in many cases, we're dealing with the fleet management company, the leasing company, um, and either we will do that or the fleet management company will do it. And I assume you must have a dedicated team here for sales and service. Yeah. So what we have is you know at our store kind of. Figuring this all out as we've launched, we actually, we became a dealer officially in February of this past year, so 2023, um, and we've we've got our our point person for this uh, is our fleet account manager. Her name's Danielle Garrick, and her focus is really on making sure that we're quarterbacking between OEM break drop uh, and the client, uh, and making sure that everything from you know, QPA to uh, bills of sale to coordinating delivery and fulfillment, that whole process is what she takes on. And then our fleet uh, department is a huge and important part of the whole conversation as well. And we do pick up and drop off, we do mobile service. It's been really an engine for innovation for not just Bright Drop, but for the entire, you know, electric vehicle business and our dealership business beyond. I'm assuming you must have offsite uh, storage lots because it's pretty tight here for parking. Um, so here's the thing with Bright Drop. It's technically the first real foray in the agency model. You don't hold inventory. So most of these vehicles, so all of these vehicles are either drop to or drop through, meaning they're either drop to directly to the end client themselves. Um, so their point of delivery, and that's all through the fulfillment process at General Motors and Bright Drop, or ship through, which means it goes through a bit and then ultimately to the end user. And that would be for like interior modifications and exactly, whatnot. Exactly, exactly. So shelving units. So what's delivered are is the blank canvas really in the interior. And because these are really designed for the specifics of the customer use case, there's a lot of time and energy that's gone into engineering and designing um, exactly what, you know, shelving, cabinetry storage, and just to make it, you know, uh, ideal for, for the customer and the driver. And their use case, yeah, yeah. okay. Well, that really helps me. Appreciate yeah. that. Uh, thanks very much for your time and uh, good luck with the venture. Thank you. I can't do nothing with you.